Hello you guys, welcome to Life with Charlene. Today we are going to be making these delicious salmon fritters. I hope you guys like salmon and we are going to make these and it's so easy. I'll show you everything as soon as we get back here. So you guys stay tuned. Now if you have not subscribed to this channel, please do. Hit the subscription button. Hit the notification bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a video. And you guys can keep my channel moving by liking the videos, commenting on the videos, and sharing the videos. But please subscribe to the videos. All right, so let's go ahead and I'll show you all the ingredients we are going to need to make these delicious and scrumptious salmon fritters. Here are all the ingredients I'll be using for my salmon fritters. A small chopped onion, cilantro, 7.5 ounces of red salmon, black pepper, smoked paprika, cilantro seasoning, garlic pepper seasoning, creole seasoning, all-purpose flour, cornmeal, vegetable oil, and water. You can always customize your seasonings to your taste. Okay, we are going to start off with one cup of flour. I am using about a quarter cup of cornmeal. And then we are going to put our, our seasonings in here before we put our water in. Got our black pepper, our smoked paprika, natural lime seasoning, garlic pepper seasoning that has salt so I'm not trying to put too much in it and a little bit of this Creole seasoning which is very spicy. Go ahead and put my cilantro in and my onion and I just use like I say one small yellow onion. We are going to add our water And we almost want a consistency of a little more liquefied than pancake mix. We don't want it too thick because we want them to fry pretty flat. So, we stir all our ingredients up in here. And this is all used in one bowl, which is so nice and it's so easy. And the thing about it, this tastes so good, you guys. I'm telling you. All right, so that's a nice consistency. Okay, I opened the can of salmon. I just want you guys to see what it looks like. I'm going to go and drain it so we can use it in our recipe. Now, the special guest of honor is our salmon. All right, so as you see, that's all in there. And then what we have to do is have our skillet heating up with the vegetable oil in it so that it can be nice and hot. Okay, and I'm going to, I had two cups of water here. So what I'm doing is just gradually adding it in because we may not use the full two cups because we don't want it, you know, too watery. And it will thicken up just a little bit because of the flour. All right, you guys, I tasted my batter, and I need a little more seasoning in it. So, I'm going to add some salt. And I'll taste it. And make sure it's got enough seasonings in it. That's better. That's why you, I guess you do have to taste your food if you're going to cook it. Make sure you got the right seasonings. All right, guys, our oil is hot enough where we can add our batter. I just take a heaping spoonful and add it in there. Here, I want you guys to see how I'm putting it in here. 
They only have to cook a few minutes on each side. Very, very careful flipping these over. So we're going to cook them for three minutes on each side. Set them on the rack so they can cool. Now do you guys see how quick and easy that was? You guys can have a full meal ready in less than 20 minutes. Because these only take... 12 minutes to cook and the rest is up to you a full meal delicious quick easy and delicious so I hope you guys have enjoyed this video I hope you try this recipe and let me know in the comments if you tried it and if you like it and if there's something else you might add to yours and I hope you guys just keep coming back, keep liking the videos, keep commenting on the videos. And I appreciate you guys so much. I, I really love what I do. So um, you guys stay blessed, stay safe, and mwah, you know I love you. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Oh, I didn't taste it, did I? Okay, let me see. Oh my God. Delicious.